Yeah, so I was thinking that it might be a really good idea to, to draw from the discussion that we started having in the tutorial about different sorts of multiculturalisms and how they might play out in Australia. I have an issue with the word tolerant. Tolerant means that you just look kind of like, oh, okay, well, they're Putting here, I just have to live with it. Whereas it should be the word... Celebrated. Celebrated, welcomed, accepted, sort of, yeah. The word tolerant is just the wrong word to use initially in the first place. I think tolerance is something, it's a step forward because not everyone can accept these things they don't understand. So education is the next step. But then and then the we can come to understanding. Of the lack of awareness by others. So if you're in a minority and you're having to be tolerated by the majority, then you fall victim. And like, it's not your fault <coughs> that they're not educated. Yeah, it's, it's got to be oppressive to feel like you're being only just tolerated, not mm. not embraced with open arms, basically, like everybody else seemingly is. Yeah. But I mean, most of it comes from fear. You fear what you don't know, exactly. and so, so you just gotta yeah. Find out. There's no point just staying scared. You may as well just see if there's a basis for it. Mm. But you know? children don't know racism yeah. or bigotry or you know, people they, they learn it over time yeah. Yeah, no, so yeah. that's the problem like kids it's like in, in preschool have no idea about they just look at someone as another kid and that's the way society should be that's just another person what I see their color how they wear their hair it shouldn't determine how I look at them why, why do you think land is so important for nationalism and it's a symbolism of ownership or something. Um, you know, like we were talking earlier about how the Indigenous people don't... Cons I mean, they, they consider the land everyone's, not just one group of people. And to have a group of people come in and put a fence up there and say, this is yours and this is mine, mine is totally and utterly baffling to them. To have a home, it's very difficult to just have a home in, let's say, a virtual world, right? Because you always also live in a specific place. So I think land uh, is very important because that's you need a, a space to stand on. But that's really heavily connected to their, their origin. Oh, yeah. the, their, this is the land that we've come from, this is our tradition, this is where we belong, it's, it's where our heritage is. And, and I think if you can connect heritage and history into a, a place, then, then you're well on the way to, to having an ideology, something you can defend and, and own as your identity. The virtual social networking world enables us to stay more attached to land than we were able to before. So instead of maybe a non-territorial nationalism, it actually facilitates staying in a multiple territorial nationalism simultaneously.